I'm Chef Jasper for Hen House Markets. And today we are creating Italian porchetta, the culinary creation of Tuscan butchers. It's fairly simple to make and your family will enjoy it. We start off with a beautiful pork tenderloin. We put a little bit of olive oil right on top. And we just want to rub that a little bit. And then we'll put a little bit of salt on top. And of course, some crushed garlic. And we're just gonna rub this crushed garlic right onto the tenderloin. Next, we put some fresh herbs on the pork tenderloin. They consist of fresh rosemary, a little bit of oregano, of course, some sage, and some thyme. And you just wanna spread it right on top. Don't be shy, if you wanna put some more herbs on there, go ahead. The more, the merrier. And of course, some fennel seed. And this is kind of like my little secret here. It gives it a nice little spicy flavor. A little bit of red wine right on top of the meat. And now we'll take it to the oven. While the porchetta is cooking in the oven, we're gonna make a very simple spinach to put on top of the panino sandwich. We start off with just a little bit of olive oil. We'll add just a touch of garlic and we'll just let that saute for under 15 seconds. And now we add our spinach. This will all cook down. We'll lower the heat a little bit. No boiling necessary. And we continue to cook the spinach down. So now I've taken the pork out of the oven and we're just gonna pull it. And it is fairly simple to do this. We get a couple of forks, and now you just get the meat like this here, and it just starts coming apart. That's how simple this really is. So I finished assembling the pork, and let me tell you something, a little secret in Italy, everyone loves the outside, and usually the butcher or the chef keeps that for himself. But today we'll share it in the sandwich. And now we get our sliced bread. We'll spray it. We'll place it in the pan. We'll take some of this pork. We'll put it right on top and just kind of spread it out evenly. We'll top it with a little bit of our spinach that we already prepared with the olive oil and the garlic and just put that right on top. A couple of slices of fresh cheese, and then again, we'll spray this side with a little bit more of the food release, put that right on top, and we'll grill it. We remove the panino from the pan, and we place it on our platter. Porchetta panino, Italian pork sandwich. Oh, so delicious. <laughs>